Dr. Dan Kwa. If you're looking for a morning workout routine, look no further because you are in the right place. Look at this amazing, beautiful background with the ocean front. The waves are pounding in. Can you imagine just working out like this when you first wake up? It's quite amazing and, and blessed in a way. But I want to share with you today some of my personal favorite workout exercise that I normally do every morning or at least four to five times a week to get my day going, get my mind flowing, get the blood pumping. Um, do you know that in the morning, your cortisone level, which is your stress hormone level is the highest. So what is a better way to get your blood flow, get the blood, get your brain thinking, get your mind activated by incorporating in a little bit of what we call morning exercise routine. Morning exercise not only lower the level of your cortisone, but it's also help release the dopamine neurotransmitters that's gonna get you that morning high that you've been hoping and waiting for. Are you tired of waking up tired? Cause I am, that's why I'm not in that mood. That's why I incorporate this morning routine I wanna share with you guys. Let's join me on this journey. Let's begin the morning routine with the push-up exercise. As always, remember to maintain a good form, control of the tempo. It's crucial to prevent risk of injuries. Traditional push-ups are beneficial for building your upper body strength. Um, they work on your chest muscle, your tricep, your shoulders. When you perform the exercise properly, they also help strengthen the lower back as well as engaging your core. As you progress into the mountain climber exercise, it is a great exercise to build in cardio endurance, testing your core strength, as well as helping you with your agility. At the same time, this exercise also helps to activate your tricep muscle, your shoulder muscles, Body weight squat is a great exercise to tone your overall body, improve your posture, it helps enhance blood flow and circulation, improve your flexibility, helping out your lower back. Always remember to perform between one to three sets. Pick the amount of set uh, of exercise that you feel comfortable on doing and the amount of reps that you feel that is helping you um, improving your endurance and your strength. With the bicycle crunches, um, it's an excellent exercise that helps activate the upper uh, part of your core muscle. Slow and steady of the tempo is crucial. Ensure to touch your opposite knee with the opposite elbow. This will help maximize the benefits of this exercise. As you progress straight into the scissor kicks in combination of the leg split, it helps work your core muscles, your gluteus maximus, your quads, your adductors, at the same time engaging all the core muscles. Maintaining a good tempo is crucial to prevent risk of injuring your lower back. Make sure that pressing the lower back against the uh, mat to avoid risk of uh, injury. Purpies are a great exercise to activating uh, the muscle of your arm, your back, your chest your core, your legs, your butt muscle, pretty much anything you can name it, it is being activated. Not only that, it's, it's a great exercise to create blood flow uh, throughout your whole body, creating the flow of the body, enhance the flow of the mind, through the release of the dopamine. This is a great 
uh, exercise that many people incorporate into their high intensity exercise which is something that we will address at the later video you guys are doing great uh, keep up the intensity let's progress into the uh, flank choose between one to three sets and determine the uh, amount of um, time that is suitable for you anywhere from 20 to 60 seconds is highly recommended um, the longer you hold it of course it increases intensity and the level of difficulty planks are great to activate your core uh, at the same time it basically works the whole body from the pelvic girdle to your shoulder girdle as well as your leg your butt muscle your core muscle your arms your shoulder immediately after the plank we rest straight into the melting heart pose hold in that position for 10 to 20 seconds uh, this helps release the tension on your shoulder your upper back uh, after the high intensity workout this pose uh, is a great in-between break that you should allow yourself to have uh, with each exercise immediately um, we rotate straight into the upward facing dog again hold this pose uh, for about 10 to 20 seconds this pose help open up your chest uh, stretch your abdominal muscles and engage in your back you can feel the activation of the lower back with um, the upper facing dog exercise. Mountain climber uh, come in varieties uh, of form. The wider you um, you swing your knees up to your your um, your arm, the more difficult it is. Mountain climbers are great to um, continue to board, build your core strength and your agility. Follow up with the um, sit up. This exercise works multiple muscles. They target not only your stomach fat, but also help activate your chest, your hip flexor, your lower back, as well as your neck. As you can see, my friend is joining us in the background there on his paddleboard in the middle of the ocean he's trying to wave us there trying to get our attention slow and steady uh, with good tempo and good control is crucial with each of this exercise as you can see my friend's uh, girlfriend is uh, just joined us in the background there with the leg pull in knees up um, is another great exercise that activate uh, all your core muscle, uh, your upper as well as your lower. And hey, my friend joined with his push up on the paddleboard in the middle of the ocean there, as you guys can see in the background. She gave him some high five there guys. Maybe some air fine is totally completely fine there as well. Look at that guy dancing on his paddleboard. Immediately after the scissor kicks, um, I progress straight into the six inches hole. More like about three and a half, four inches hole. This is uh, a great exercise that help activate your lower core muscle. Starting out as a beginner, you might um, place your hands underneath your butt uh, to reduce the intensity. And as you progress um, with each exercise, Trying to maintain a height of about six inches is highly recommended. With the lying uh, leg raise, um, it helps strengthen the, uh, the lower muscle as well, improve flexibility, enhance uh, balancing and stability, uh, lower risk of back injuries, and of course, burn calories. Great work, guys. I'm gonna incorporate in, as a healthcare professional, what I care about, what I focus on is health, fitness because 
with a healthy body with a healthy mind you can achieve anything you want in life and i believe in that i am so believing in that just check out this background just check out this view um i want to invite you guys to come and work out with me subscribe turn on your notification for more workout videos and exercise remember to click on the playlist in the link below take care of your mind take care of your body take care of your health and i will see you in the next video